Okay, we're getting on. This is the next text. And this is my second tutorial on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make an AI to follow you and to kill you, and you to kill an AI. And just to adjust some stuff in project size, as this, like when you shoot, it comes out uh, from the bottom, not from the center. You can adjust that. So, let's get going. Firstly, we're gonna go to add new. Of course, if you watched my other, my first uh, tutorial, which uh, which I'm going to leave in the description, you will find some stuff different, as the gun. Mm, I'm, I don't think anything else. So, go to add new, add feature or content pack, content pack. Then third person add to project. I've already added it, so I don't need to. So after you do that, right click, blueprint class, character. You can name it whatever. I'm just gonna name it uh, AF. That's going to be at the enemy. Double click on the AF. Go to mesh. Now we're gonna make how to block. Of course, the mesh. Scroll down until you find the third person icon. You're gonna have to rotate it, uh, rotate it uh, to the right. Just some things that usually happens. Anyway, perspective. Right. Just try to get it aligned with the uh, end of capsule for the collision to work perspective and now go back to animation if you can find it here third person underscore anime blueprint uh, anime blueprint anyway uh, you will find it uh, like this it's a good thing if you didn't you made something wrong I can't believe how would you do that because you just started come on so, after you finish this, go to add component, uh, under AI, font sensing, on font sensing, uh, compile, and again on font sensing, you will find that this, the green thing, is his field of view. I'm just gonna leave it at 86. This seems legit. Well, not too legit, but you know. You can go on C1, drag this, and simple move to after. Get controller. Goal is the bone, and after you finish this compile go back here and drag the AA of the AI or whatever you named it here but if you played and uh, the AI s played the start of the game and the AI saw you it won't follow you because you're going to need this uh, just a minute go to volumes here scroll down Nav mesh bound volume, just drag it here. Uh, if you want it to show like this, just press P on your keyboard, and this is where the AI is able to move. Just scale it up for the AI to be able to move all around the map. After you do that, press F play, walk in front of the AI, and voila, it's following you. Now, you're gonna go to the good part where it kills you. It's gonna be easy. Just go to first person blueprint, blueprint, first person character, and this is where the AI would, where the AI would kill you. Just go to capsule, scroll down on component head, 
and here just just to the name of the LED med which mine is air and reactor and destroy after just like that hit play and now when the AI touches you you die as you can see I'm not there I can't move yep anyway so now we're gonna have to kill the AI how do we do that go to AA sorry uh, go to mesh scroll down and here on collision pre uh, preset just click this physics after this will change the collision type of it and add on component head for the mesh not for all of it just the mesh you have to be selecting the mesh before you select that anyway and here you're gonna cast to Person projectile because the projectile is what you can see is touching. So, so you touch it like that. Uh, as a projectile hits it, it's gonna kill it. So, destroy after. Just easy and simple. Play. It follows you. Shoot. It dies. Play the game again. Follows you, touch it, you die. Really simple, really easy. Now we're gonna ha adjust the projectile. So, for uh, to for adjusting the projectile, just go to first person blueprint, blueprints, first person projectile. Here you can add the velocity, the uh, from here the speed, some stuff about the projectile that you would like to change. As an example, you can make the speed of it higher. Like change the speed, six thousand, six thousand, and you're gonna have to go down here, six thousand. Now it's gonna be faster. You can just uh, play with these, like shoot bounce, uh, the friction, the bounciness, bounce velocity, stop accelerating, all that kind of stuff. Five, but uh, of course, if you want to go to viewport, as you can see here, it's a ball, and you can't change that because if you followed my first tutorial. I change the gun. So here I'm gonna have to change the bu uh, the bullet. So since I made it a shotgun, just a minute. Okay, right down shotgun, and here shotgun ammo. It's really small ammo. Just scale it up like two, two, two. Just bang it. Not a little bit care. By play, you'll find some bad stuff. See, of course, it's faster, but uh, if you look at the sprite, that's not how the world it should go. So, firstly, just rotate this. Then play, make sure. Yeah, it's okay actually. Play again. Yep, so that seems fine like this. Still, it still bounces back, and I'm not sure, but I don't really see a lot of bounciness in bullets. <laughs> so you can just ch ch change the bounciness here. Just click this. Play. Now it doesn't bounce, just stays on. And 
kiss or some of that stuff. Dang it. I like it though. Guys. As you can see here, if you stop the mouse here, it sticks like there. I'm not gonna do that at the moment, so just do whatever you like. I just hit it bouncy. Or if it's bouncy, okay, should bounce, but let's execute one in a million. Sorry, a thousand. Uh, sorry, no, ten thousand. Five, okay. Eh, not too bad. Uh, of course, if you want to change the collision effect, so it's like, come on, let's see it. Anyway, I'm not gonna get too deep into it. Uh, anyway, that's how you change the mesh effect. Now, to change the center of, of what it goes or it spawns, first person, two friends, uh, two different characters, and usually they just uh, spawn projectile thingy. Which is a place where you can change what you made. Basically, you can change it uh, from here. Don't open any of those. Just go to Gun Offset, and mm, here is where the project toy spawns. So, if you look down here, you'll find the X, Y, Z stuff. Basically, when they say just a minute, uh, yeah, X. Let me just find it. Sorry. They say a hundred on X, so it's a hundred from here. So basically, we're gonna adjust it. When we begin, it's to the right, a little bit too much to the right, right? So. change that and it's a little low so I'm gonna change the Y and change the Z make the Z higher make the Y lower let's do Y 20 Z 20 again and test it okay the Z is good but the Y is still too Now, you can keep adjusting that, now it's a lot less, like, you can feel the difference. So that's a good thing. So, just a minute. So that's basically it, that's basically what uh, I want to show you in this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and let's see, yeah, it's 10 minutes. I'm gonna have to stop this tutorial, so sorry. Two minutes are a little bit too much. So, if you have any question, ask me in the comments below. And like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. And it wouldn't be bad if you subscribe, please. Anyway, thanks and bye.